wanted to do this string game that I found on the internet. <laughs> Did not come up with myself. No. Earlier this morning, we all like had big balls of yarn and started it at one point and then just kind of went crazy with it and went around everywhere that you wanted to go under things, around things, over things. So when you get your number that Hannah has assigned to you and your gift, you are going to find the beginning of your string that is labeled with a number that corresponds to your number. And then get to your present and then we can all just like gather around with our present and then do the whole guessing secret Santa thing when we open it. Go! Okay. Oh, 11's right here! 11. Okay. I, I did this one so I know where it goes, but um, that's about it. That's all I have going for me because everything else is kind of free for all. I did this one and I don't even remember where it ends. <laughs> we all had our separate ways before Christmas occurs, so instead of having Secret Santa or any kind of gift giving before we leave, we just let it wait until we get back so everyone's more laid back, ready to be back together and love each other. Great <laughs> wrapping. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Oh, another water bottle! Yes. What is it? Oh, it's chocolate. <laughs> it's a snowman. Open the second. Well, I'm glad that I opened it. Are you guys doing Her hair was cat. <laughs> There's a little hold up over here in the big knot and there was like five of us all like trying to <laughs> go under each other and between each other, but it turned out very well. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy that I forced it upon yeah, everyone. <laughs>
perfect. In May of 2016, the Rebels welcomed eight-time national champion head coach Marsha Beasley to the program. During this transition period, it forced the team to come together and bond. We actually all pulled together right before she came because we knew, like, we were a little nervous meeting her. We knew she was probably a little nervous too. So we all, like, pulled money together and went and bought her, like, her first, like, Ole Miss blanket. So that way she had something, like, Ole Miss right away. And so we gave it to her and then we had, like, a really good bonding moment that was really cool that um, after talking with us and everything, you could tell that she really loved the program already, really had a lot of heart and drive to change it and to make things better and better everyone inside of it and become like some of the top teams in the future. She has a lot to offer and it's really shown with our scores and um, the attitude on the range has changed a lot. Um, definitely from last year. I mean, this is only my second year on the team and I've noticed a big difference. I feel like I do have a really good group. Um, just very good individuals and they've come together very well as a team. They're very supportive of each other. Uh, we're not where we need to be, I think, in terms of shooting knowledge and skill, but really, really good people who are really working hard and I think poised to do better. In the first half of the season, the Rebels shot down many school and personal records. During the break, the team was hungry to build on that success for the second half. First semester went really well. We broke team records. Um, a lot of people had personal, personal bests. A lot of people were really motivated to keep training over break. A lot of times I think people get to the break and you're like, oh, thank God. <laughs> Time to take a break, like I'm gonna go home and sleep for hours on end, never wake up. But I think this year a lot of people actually trained over break, took their gear home. I had surgery over the break, so I had two surgeries, so I wasn't able to do anything physically, but I did do a lot of mental training. I'm just reading the mental training books that we did and do a lot of visualization for the upcoming match. Our last contest was the second week in November, and to go from then until the middle of January is just really a a very long break. It's very important they don't quit training, but it's very difficult when you have a break like that in the competition. With an 8 a.m. start, the Rebels would need to wipe the sleep from their eyes quickly as the number three and five teams in Murray State and Kentucky strolled into town. They've had a really good, both of them have had a really strong fall semester, so it was definitely, um, like we knew we, it was gonna be tough going into it. I think I just wanted to do the best that I could um, with what I had. I know I, we had like that week to, for me, I had that week to actually live train. I think that was my first live shots I had taken. But so I still had those high expectations, but I also knew that I, I couldn't control everything and to only control what I could. Through small bore, the Rebels would trail both the Wildcats and the Racers. Although it was not the start they envisioned, sophomores Harley Gardner and Randy Loudon shined, shooting perfect 200s in prone. That was the first time I've ever done it in a match. I've done it in practice a couple times. So after I was like 17 shots in, I hadn't shot a nine, my heart was just pounding. And it shouldn't, it shouldn't be a surprise because I know that I can do it. But it was, I mean, my heart was beating pretty fast. I was like, oh God, this is it. Like, I'm gonna shoot a 200. And so I shot that 20th shot and it was a deep 10. And I was just like, oh, okay, like, it's good. Like, I'm done now, you know, I can move on. It should be something that happens often but that position is so much more mental because I mean, you're laying on the ground. But it can get pretty strenuous. Um, also nothing moves, you can overhold, and so I know it's a really big accomplishment, especially for them. I think that was their first one in a match. Doing it shot after shot, and I think for some folks it just works on them, oh, I might be shooting a perfect score. But they should be shooting 200s or 199, 200, and be expecting that. In Air Rifle, the Rebels would get back on pace as senior Allison Wise posted her second highest score of her career of 595. Allie has been so solid air rifle. She's lulled us into expecting that she's going to be putting up those numbers because she's done it so well. And um, so 
done it so often through the season. It's, um, she's shooting air rifle um, just very, very well. Uh, we had a practice match earlier in the week and I had shot a 596. So like I knew I could do it. It almost felt normal for me. And so I'm really hoping that those higher scores are my new normal. She's definitely uh, the, like the heart of the team and she's very passionate about it. And that um, definitely trickles down to the others. So she's been a great teammate. She is, she's always there, she's always on the range, she's always working hard. Not just her scores, like her scores, if you took her scores out of it, we would still look up to her as the most amazing senior. She's always willing to just drop what she's doing, even outside of the range, and just come help you out. And so that's just my definition of a leader, just like being there for everyone on the team. It's not just like, she doesn't pick favorites, you know, she's there for everyone, and that's incredible. Although they could not make up ground, the Rebels are confident they can get back to the level of shooting they were at in the first half of the year. I think this match was a very good match to sort of gauge where we all were um, in a match performance because it's really, it's fairly easy to come back when you're training and continue to shoot great or start off strong right away. But when you get that pressure of a match um, and that feeling of like, this is what counts, like every shot, like this matters, you know, this can affect me, doing something dumb can affect me all of the things like that. So I think it really gives you a good idea like where you are um, in your match performance mentally and physically. Well, we got back into it. Um, I think sometimes when you have a long break between competitions, even if you've been practicing, it's a little bit harder to step up to the line again. And so that's done and over. And I think we'll settle down now and be uh, much more where we were before the end of the break.